In this video, I'll show you how to sketch a quadratic equation that is in standard form. We'll start with the first question. The first question asks, sketch the graph of the relation below by first finding the x-intercepts and then determining the vertex. So we have a quadratic equation that is in standard form already, and there are two ways that you can find the roots. You can either find them by using the quadratic formula, or you could try to factor this equation as it is. So what I'll do first is try to factor this, and if I can't factor it, I'll use the quadratic formula. You'll notice that each of these three terms is divisible by 2. So what I'm going to do first is common factor 2 from this equation, giving us y is equal to 2 bracket x squared minus 2x minus 8. I have a quadratic trinomial right here, and I'll try to find two numbers that multiply to negative 8, and that will add to negative 2. The two numbers that I'm thinking of are negative 4 and positive 2. Negative 4 times 2 gives us negative 8, and negative 4 plus 2 gives us negative 2. That being said, I'll rewrite this trinomial alongside this 2 with two sets of brackets, x minus 4 and x plus 2. And what I'll do to find the x-intercepts is set this whole equation equal to 0. If I set that equal to 0, I end up with two possibilities. x minus 4 is equal to 0, and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving for x here gives me an x is equal to 4, and x is equal to minus 2. That is my first root, and this is my second root. Now that I have my roots as 4 and negative 2, I can plot those on my graph. Now remember, this actually means 4 and 0, and this actually means negative 2 and 0. So these are our two points and their coordinates. The reason why it's comma 0 for both of them is because, remember, I set y is equal to 0. So we're finding where this parabola, this graph, will cross the x-axis. And the x-axis is at y is equal to 0. So I'm going to plot these points. My first point is 4 and 0. And my other point is negative 2 and 0. The next thing that I'll need to do is find the vertex. Now the way we find the vertex is we take the average of the two roots. The first root was a 4 and the other root was a minus 2. And to find the average, you take these two numbers, you add them up, and then divide by 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. So I know that the x coordinate of my vertex will be 1. And that's right there, so it'll be somewhere along here. And to find the y-coordinate, I have to take this number and substitute it into my equation. So I have y is equal to 2 times 1 to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 minus 16. 2 times 1 to the power of 2, that's like saying 2 minus 4 minus 16. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 16 is minus 18. So my vertex will be somewhere below here. Now I don't need to necessarily make each one of these blocks as intervals of 1. I can simply say that this represents 6, 12, and 18. And my vertex will be right here at points 1 and negative 18. Connecting these three points, I get something that looks like this. Now, of course, depending on your teacher, he or she may want you to find the y-intercept as well. And to find the y-intercept, you would set your x value of the equation as 0. And so there you have it. That is how to sketch a quadratic equation that is in standard form. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.